हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू एपिसोड नंबर थ्री ऑन हाउ टू ड्रॉ कास इन दिस एपिसोड वी विल बी लर्निंग हाउ टू ड्रॉ द ग्रीन हाउस ऑफ द कार मीनिंग द विंड शील्ड द साइड विंडोज द रूफ एंड वी विल लर्न हाउ टू अटैच दिस टू द बॉडी ऑफ द कार दैट वी हैव ड्रॉन इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो सो लेट्स गिट स्टार्ट ऑल राइट सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो we had learned how to draw the body of the car using the wheels as the uh, structural members and we had established the proper proportions of the car in terms of length width and the height as well so in this episode uh, as i have already mentioned we will be drawing the entire glass house uh, of the car or the green house of the car which contains the windshield the windows the roof and all that so it should look something like this uh, so the red part is what we had uh, drawn in the previous episode and in this episode we will be drawing the entire green house of the car so before we uh, jump in into drawing the green house of the car let us first uh, uh have a look at our ugly little car so this what you are seeing over here this part is called the greenhouse and this is the front windshield this is the front of the car for reference so if you have a closer look this is the body of the car over here and the and the windshield will start at this point this point and and then this point so the first thing that you should remember is that there will always be a slight gap between the edge of your body line and the starting point of your of your windshield basically this distance you won't find a car where the windshield is attached to the edge of the body over here that won't happen so this is the first point the second point is that the side windows which is essentially this line what you are seeing over here it is at an angle compared to its vertical line this angle is called as the tumble home usually your passenger cars will have a slightly uh, you know uh, a less angle and your sports cars will have a very steep angle which will go something like this all right so these two things that you need to uh, just keep in mind about this distance from the edge of the body line and this angle of the side windows with the vertical called as tumble home so it is pretty easy to draw this so if you remember from the first two videos we have already established the maximum height of the car which is this one and to just give you a quick recap on that so this is what we had done in the first and the second episode where we have established the body of the car which has a wheel base of three wheels this is the rear wheel this is the front wheel and slight overhang for the front and the rear and it's also uh you know like uh, three wheels wide and we have also established the belt line of the car which is this line which is slightly more than half of your wheel height and this is the roof of the car which is two times the wheel this is the first wheel and this is the second wheel and this is where your roof line which should end all right now we have this part over here already and we, we just need to construct this part the greenhouse all right so let's get started on this so the first point is just concentrate where your windshield will start So if I just draw a straight line over here, so this is where my front wheel will end, and this is the point where the windshield will start. So if you say this is 
in the midpoint of the first wheel that we have over here it is about half of it so half and half so quarter of the wheel all right so let's just go ahead and mark that point over here so as you can see this is one wheel over here and say this is about half between this and this and I, I I hope you are following along so another half of it is over here so if we take this point and just extend that we will get a point over here this is the point from where our windshield will begin and if we take a look at the rear windshield over here this is exactly at the middle at the middle of our rear wheel this point so this is our rear wheel and this is the center we'll just extend this and we get another point over here so we have point one and point two all good and this line what you're seeing over here this is our roof line meaning the maximum height of our car and so the first step is to just take this point and this point and draw a line to the left vanishing point to establish our guidelines and as usual i already have my guidelines underneath my drawing sheet and if you are still wondering or if you are new to this channel and want to know how to draw the perfect guidelines in one point as well as in two point i have already made videos on that so please check it out in the link in the description below all right moving on so take these two points and using the guidelines that i'm seeing uh, through through my page i will just draw lines to the left vanishing point So uh, if you just go back to this, so as you have already seen, there is a slight gap over here between the edge of the body line and the start of the windshield. So let us just estimate this line, which is about say one wheel wide. Okay. so take this point travel along this line and just make a slight mark over here which is that small distance that you saw and similarly over on the other side as well so much and just a tiny bit make sure you make this distance slightly less than this because this will since this is in perspective the objects which are farther away will appear a little bit small all right so we have two points over here next take this this point and this point and draw a line to the right vanishing point using our guidelines all right so now here we have the end point of our the actual end point of our windshield the actual starting point of our windshield over here this is the rear windshield point this is the front windshield point similarly on the other side okay now all that we need to do is just uh, draw the angle of the windshield and the side windows so one uh, easy way of doing that is first let us construct a simple box over here so this is the point all 
okay so now all that we need to do is just carve out the shape of the windshield and the side windows so what we have drawn now is basically is the complete box inside which our windshield will sit now we need to take i mean establish this point and this point we already have this point and this point right so once we have this point we can just connect this point to the starting of the windshield similarly on the other side simple so uh let's see how much it is basically so this amount of distance is almost same as this amount of distance over here so take a closer look at this point and this point and try to to you know estimate the same amount of distance from this point to somewhere over here yeah close enough right over here and let us do the same on the other side so we have the edge of the windshield and over here great now I'll take this new point over here and draw another line in perspective and let us do the same here as well okay now if we go back to the side view we need to establish this point over here so if we just drop in a line over here this line ends at three-fourth distance of our first wheel over here so this is the end of the first wheel and say this is half so in between that okay so this is the first wheel that we have this is the half point end point this is the half of it so take this point and just mark a point on this new line that we have drawn as simple as that next we need to establish this point over here so this point ends exactly at the beginning of our rear wheel so take this extreme edge over here and we have already drawn a point over here yeah, great so it's over here okay so all that is remaining is connect the dots all right and now we need to transfer this point information on the other side to do that let's take this point run a line to the left vanishing point which ends somewhere over here and from this point join to this point We have just drawn the uh, greenhouse of our car. So I uh, just to uh, give a quick recap over here. First, draw this complete box over here. This complete box. 
keeping in mind the distance from the edge of the body line. Next, once you have this box, we need to shift this point inside and this point inside as well, how much ever you need. So once you have this, just connect these two things and extrude it to the rear of the car. So looks perfect. Maybe we screwed up a little bit over here. This point should have been slightly inside because it's not looking so right. Something like this. Yeah, now it's better. Small perspective errors will be there, but uh, don't get discouraged and just continue drawing. So that will help. And uh, okay, so the next thing that we need to do is if you just observe this one, you just need to have some kind of a partition line over here and some kind of a thickness for the, you know, for the A pillars uh, between the uh, you know, windshield and the side windows over here. So I'll just go ahead and make that. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial and in our upcoming tutorials we will concentrate on how to take the basic uh, you know the body shape of the car something like this a boxy car and curve it so that it looks aesthetically pleasing and bit modern as well so all that we have to do is just take this corner and round it off take this straight edge over here and then learn how to round off all the flat panels that we are having on this car so yeah until next time see you around i hope you learned something from this video if you did please click on the like button share it with your like-minded friends and if you have any particular requests uh, do let me know in the comments below. I will try to make a video on the same. Alright, until next time. See you around. Bye-bye.